I started the cooking show. Yeah, I saw that. You didn't even get my joke last night, which pissed me off. No, like, I did. I just couldn't keep up with cooking whilst reading comments. What and the stuff. fuck did you cook? It was delicious. That's what I cooked. No, I, I meant to bring you something. But what was it? It wasn't delicious. It, it was good. It was edible. Um, what was it? Well, I don't know. So the whole thing was it was meant to be, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, pandemic cook? No, um, apocalypse cooking. Okay. So the whole gist was I was just cooking anything that was in my pantry and fridge. So it was like, choose your own adventure sort of thing. So it was meant to, well, it involved couscous, some veggies, meat, and a lot of red wine, like too much red, I put way too much red wine in it. I had three quarters of a bottle. Jesus. It was delicious. <laughs> no, see, I couldn't I couldn't hold stock. I, I, I did that thing when I went to the, the, the grocery, sh- grocery shop where I, I, I didn't get a basket, because yeah. I only wanted to get one thing. And then when I went through, I realized it was more shit than I, all right, do you think we should start a challenge with this then? How do you mean? Well, we'll just put it out there. We'll get everybody to start putting the video up of a challenge to cook a meal from their pantry. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon we start it. I reckon we start it. I, I left it open. If anyone had any suggestions or whatever they wanted me to cook, as long as we're in a certain budget, yeah. I'll flush at the moment. No one is. No, 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 no. Whatever's in there. Like, whatever you've yeah, got. Yeah, fuck yeah, do it. Whatever you've got in there. Yeah. You actually do it. You actually have to do it, yeah. Yeah, so you have to do it. No cheating, yeah. So, alright. So, whatever you've got in there. Yeah. Okay, I think. But here's the problem. So, I can't do another one for a few days, so I've got four takeaway containers worth of it. Yeah, and I saw you fucking cook the shit. I'm, like. I'm going to be smashed. Like, yeah, I, I was tipsy as fuck after I had a few bowls after that. Yeah, yeah, done. It tasted good. There was way too much red wine. I can I can, I can, can say that in all honesty after, uh, after having it, but it tasted good. Because I, I didn't have any stock. Yeah. Norm- normally with couscous you'd use stock. Not necessarily. Well, not necessarily, but I, okay. I, I normally do. Your stock cubes, eh? No. You've got a... No, yeah. I, 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 meant to, I meant to get like a litre thing of stock and I was oh, going to use that for the couscous because there was no pasta on the shelf. Okay. And it turns out Bogans don't know how to cook couscous. So I was like, fuck it, I'll use red wine. Oof, fuck, that's why, that's why we're that colour. Yeah. Couldn't work out why we went back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, why it was yeah. purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was delicious so, though. I'm going, what is it? It's like, <laughs> and it's, like oh, it's couscous. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it now. It's like this. Oh, that would have, even the couscous went. I, I, I am, I am Arabic. This is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Not very good time for Lent, but it was. It was lovely. It was fucking edible. It was good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Didn't realize how many of my friends were smart asses, and then. Someone told me that the camera was on a funny angle, so I changed it and accidentally right, log, that, logged that, out. That took you a while. I was just like, fucking, I'm sitting there going, turning my head to the side, going, what the fuck, man? Come on, turn the camera. <laughs> Next one will be better. First comment was, whip your dick out. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> that was, fun. was that Grant or somebody? Or no, nah, it was a friend of mine, Emily. She's, she's fucked in the head, but I love her. But, um, I wanted viewers. And then, uh, yeah. It was fun. And then, and then I said, what the fuck is that? And you go, fuck, I'll count. Like, <laughs> and then Turkish comes on the, on the bench, and I'm like, well, cook the cat. No, never. But it wasn't cooking the cat, it was like, cook Turkish, as in cook Turkish food. Oh, I wouldn't know how to, I'm too white for that shit. But he cooked couscous in wine. What the fuck, bro? It, didn't it was delicious. I'll do it for you one day. Okay. Good. I'll be like, yeah, I don't know why I'm married because he's on the same. <laughs> That's enough <laughs> accents out of you, Benny. Fuck. All right, so you had a shout out. Who is it? Yeah, shout out to, uh, to Tony Magnuson, the Enigma. The Enigma, yes, the man, the myth. The yeah, he actually said to me last night. He goes, you know, um, you know, so giving me shit that I'm, that I haven't put on the podcast. Well, come you on, know, Tony. It's it's not me that I don't want. I don't want you on the podcast. I want you on the podcast. It's, it's Jordy. He just wants you on the podcast. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> Yeah. You, know what I, you know what I like? You know what I didn't I, realize no, you no, worked no, for Metro no, with you throwing under the bus. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Yeah. You know what makes me laugh? You, Tone's, this is going to get into Tone's head now. Tone, oh. you're out there. Wait a minute, wait a minute Tone. I've got, I've got a, little, a little little thing for you, mate. Get talking. This one's for Tony. No, you're on your own now. No, I'm not on my own, Tony. This is for you. Throw me under the bus. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Tone. <laughs> No, Tony would be a no, great guest. No, Tony's always welcome. You know. Can I have the lighter, please? I don't... Tony's always welcome. Um, and yeah. Not according uh, to you. No, not according to me. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. <dude. laughs> uh, no, he's always welcome. I like giving him shit, you know. 
Yeah, and, I've got, and I've said it to you, have I not said it to you many a time, and even the boys that I've had on the podcast, except Tony. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, Tony. <laughs> You're going to start a war that's going to be hard to combat in COVID. No, me and Tony aren't going to start a war. I love Tony. <laughs> Tony knows I love him. Um, but yeah, haven't I said to every, all the boys that he was the first accommodating one for me? As yeah, well. fuck yeah. yeah. He basically took me in. I knew nobody. Tony introduced me to people. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, I'm still mates with him. I'm still yeah. talking to him. You know. Um, and anyone's welcome on this podcast. It's just a hard, we're having a hard time getting people in due yeah. to lockdowns and stuff. But we're, we're roughly a metre and a half apart. And um, Yeah, and that's the that's hard bit about it. It's just like, you know, we don't want to get too many people. And like I say, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm sort of at the point where do we lock down next week? Don't we lock down? It's just, we'll see, we'll see where we're at. If we have to phone it in, we'll phone yeah, it in. Yeah, if we phone it in, we phone it in. Uh, me and Jordy will be fine. We'll be in the room, but if we have to phone somebody in or somebody's got to phone in, well, we've got the, we've got the capabilities. Yeah, we can do it. You know, um, and everybody's welcome. I don't give a shit who, who, who yeah. wants to come on here. And like we always say, it's, we're talking about everything and anything. Yeah. You know, China. Arabics. What the fuck was that? Arabics. That's you, not me. Yeah. No, no, it was um, my English was bad. Then. <laughs> Arabics. What the fuck's an Arabic? <laughs> That's a language, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. It's Arabic. Yeah. I don't know if Ar- Arabics is a plural, but yeah. But yeah, no. Tone's always welcome. Like I said, Tone's welcome. I always, you know, give me shit that I wasn't giving him a shout out. I'm giving him a shout out. There you go, Tony. You happy now? I'm giving all the crew at Highlander a shout out. Everybody that's out there, Kieran. Uh, Blaze, all the guys out there that you know I've met over the time at Highland, they're welcome to, you know, not a problem at all. Yeah, I'd love to get Kieran on, that'd you be know, interesting. Definitely, you know, it's like we want, we want to get everybody on here, you mm. know, and there's no issue. It's like, and, if, and like I say, you know, once Tane comes on here, we'll do a podcast. Yeah. And if Tane wants to, you know, get butt with anything, you can send us to our email address, which is bjballs at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, we can have a Tribunal when Tone gets here. I'm just being a cunt now. No comment. <laughs> Tone, Tone, yeah, no way for laugh. Tone goes, you, if you fucking say that, you can't. I'm going to say that, Tone, because you said to me not to fucking say that. <laughs> Don't stare into the sun. Yeah, uh, you know, but nah, you're always welcome. All the guys are always welcome. Anyone's welcome. This this is an open forum where all, I'm all about, and you know, when we started this, it was all about with comedy. comedy, comics, working as a team. So exactly. I'm not above bed, above anybody. You're not above anybody. No. And nobody's above us. So you know, no. like I say, everybody's welcome. We just want to know what you're about. Yeah. Talk about. Who you know, are you? What who you are you? Do? Yeah. What, what are you about? You know. Who about? are you? What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what's been going on? I know. I know. We've busted out a few episodes in the last few days, but apart from that, I don't know. It's, it's really weird because it's like I, I forgot it was um, Saturday. Today. Like, yeah, I've got that scene from Jumanji uh, just going through my head. What year is it? Like, yeah. it's fucking strange. It's like a giant public holiday. Like, yeah, it's just weird. Fuck all's open. And, you know, I'm trying to work it out. Go, well, okay, what day is it? What's going on? And it's like, oh, you know, yesterday was Thursday, but now it was Friday. And then I'm having a 20 minute argument with the wife going, and she's like, it's Friday. I'm like, no, it's not. It's Thursday. <laughs> No one thought to get their phone out and check. No, yeah. nobody got the, yeah, nobody got their phone out, and she did in the end. She goes, "You're wrong. You're always wrong." <laughs> <laughs> Good old Anna. Um, but yeah, no, just yeah, keep me out of trouble, and you know, trying to self isolate to a point in the sense of having as many people in the, in the house as I can. <laughs> no, I need um, an outlet. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's just a little outlet we've got going at the moment, and um, you know, trying to trying to look after ourselves as much as we can. And I want everybody to look after themselves. I'm not going to give you a whole speech of the Prime Minister or anything. But, um, do you reckon he fucked it? Like, had, had, he, had he not handled the uh, the bushfire disaster in such poor form that people have actually listened to him? He says, I don't know, I, look, I don't know. To me, he's very smug. Yeah, he's a fuckwit. Yeah. So, it's like, you don't need to laugh at shit. No, that fucking smirk he it does. just fucking annoys the crap out of me. It's just like, well... State your point. Yep. We agree or don't agree, whatever. State your fucking point. And, I, and look, in, and you know me, I've told you my political views, like Daniel Andrews, I can't stand the fucker. Yeah. But I give him credit now. 
see, I like him. You know, he's actually stepped up now, and um, he's, act, he, he, he's, he's the first one that I've seen out of a whole lot of these parliamentarians that oh, have actually... Muppets. Well, yeah, the politician Muppets, yeah, that's actually turned around and gone, no, we're doing this. Yeah. He's been very firm, we're doing this. And I mean, I don't believe in a lot of his policies and shit like that, but, you know, that's fine, that's, that's my own view. Um, but in the same token, he's he stepped up. Yeah. And we need leaders like that, whereas you, you see the Prime Minister, he's just, he's just throwing shit around, going, oh, well, it's not me, it's your state, you've got to work it out with your state. It's not me, you've got to work it out with your bank. And I, I don't get that part of it. And it's like, I don't know about you, but wouldn't it be nice if somebody turned around and said, like, as our leader of our country, and said, all right, we're all fucked. He's not a leader, though, that's the thing. Like, he hasn't... Nah, he's not a leader at all. No, but, like... but as a leader, I mean, you've taken this job on, wouldn't it be great if he actually turned around and said, all right, guys... Uh, everybody's fucked economically. Yeah, we need to do this. Let's talk to the banks, number one, and the banks have to adhere to what we're saying, or we basically slam them once once we get back to business. But, yeah. you know, he's not doing that. He's basically, he's, you know, he's in bed with big business. Oh, fuck yeah. And he doesn't, he's not going to do that, you know. And, and actually, I saw, I saw a post today about Clive Palmer. I mean, everybody hates Clive Palmer. He's a Muppet. Yeah. He is, but you got to give him credit. He's invested some of his money to actually help with actually coming up with the cure. Yeah, but has he though? Well, he has. Yeah, but what evidence is there? Like, it's one thing to put a post out and talk about Oh, no, 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 but he's actually, he's, he's, he's legitimately put money into a, into, oh, okay. a, into a thing in Queensland. He's actually put money into the Royal Hospital to help them out. Well, he goes, whatever they need, I'm here to help as much as I can, he goes. Oh, shit, okay. So he's been pretty open about Wasn't that. Wasn't he bankrupt a little while ago? Ah, oh, he's got money. He's, oh, okay. Yeah. Where's the, where's the fat cats like Gina Reinhardt who make like... Oh, they're not going to step up. You reckon? No, 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 no. When it comes to that sort of shit, no, no. Yeah, well, God, mate. Wouldn't it be in their best interest, though, because they own the mining yeah. and all that sort of... St- well, if your miners can't work, you've got no money coming in. Yeah, but they don't give a shit. They've got plenty of miners. Or, you know, they're, they're actually looking for jobs. They're actually looking for people to go to the mines and work. Do you, yeah, if you want to actually go to the mines now, or if, you get to the, if you're in Perth, yeah. if you're living in Perth and you they can, you can get a job with them now. Right. So they've actually turned around and said, well, some of our people have pulled out, but you know, we're still looking for people to come back in. So, and don't forget, a lot of the people that are in the mines, they're not, they're not from Perth. Yeah. yeah. A lot of them are like, you know, fly in, fly, fly, in, fly yeah. out, you know, and, and basically they've all come home. So these guys are stuck, they haven't got enough people to fucking, you know, work the crews. So. It just kind of baffles me, like someone who has such a, negative public image like Gina Reinhardt like everyone knows she's a greedy bitch but like why would you not try and I don't know rectify your image or salvage something and make yourself look human and you know pledge X amount of dollars to like no one needs that much money like I know it's going to sound really Russian of me but like no one needs that much money yeah but they don't think like we do no exactly but they don't think about you no, you know it's like um, you know it's a resource. We are a resource. You know what I mean? So yeah. And if she thought about it as in, you know, if it was her, she wouldn't. She'd never think like that. She's not. She's not. She wasn't brought up that way. And I'm not saying she hasn't helped out communities and stuff. Yeah, she probably has. But I don't think like maybe. You know, I mean, oh no, I reckon she look. She she's she's had. Uh, I think she's done a lot with the Aboriginal communities and that. Well, she's tearing up their land, so yeah. Makes, so she, but she's raping, sense. she's raping what they own. Yeah. You know, and it's like, and you, she'll say, sit there and go, no, but actually, I own it. Yeah, well, no, whoever, whoever you got it from, yeah. they took it off whoever <laughs> they actually own this land. But oh, that's look, I'm not going to get into the political side of things, and she'll probably try to sue us and shit, and <laughs> whatever. You know, it's like, you know, come after us. We've got nothing. We've got the corona. <laughs> podcast. The uh, podcast has got about 160 followers yeah, uh, thank you very much by the way thank you guys. Um, yeah when did we start this like a month ago yeah, a bit little longer than that a little longer than that we sort of started people people were jumping on yeah um, yeah appreciate it oh well, look we're having a bit of fun i mean you know we're talking about stuff and there's well, stuff while we can yeah you know we talk about stuff that sort of uh, means something to us or doesn't mean something to us or, <laughs> you know some of us are racist sometimes we don't get racist you do fuck off <laughs> 
The amount of times that you've said, I don't want to sound racist, but. Well, I didn't do that today. No, you didn't do that today. It's very, very mature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The session is young. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. No, but, like, you know, we're talking about everything. So, we're not, we're not sort of enclosed and not talking about stuff. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. And some people might agree with it, some people won't agree with it. Yeah, whatever. that's fine. Um, it's our opinion. Um, we're not, you know, we're not sort of setting walls or any shit like that. No. We just have, we've got an opinion, and, um, and I think it's a free country that we still have an opinion. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, so Geordie thinks Gina and I are a fat cunt. <laughs> I said fat bitch. Oh, yeah. fat bitch, sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I can't stand greedy people. Well, that's the thing, it's just like, I don't know how come people can't just give a bit back, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and they should, you know, it's like, like well, I said to you about the unemployment thing, I get it. Uh, You know, they lived within that means before. Yeah. So why wouldn't you go, okay, instead of giving them extra money, right, mm. why wouldn't you turn around and say, the people that have lost jobs, I'll give you that money, if you know what I mean. So yeah. if you're in 550 or whatever it was a week, yeah. and then the other person that's just lost their job can get nothing, why wouldn't you just give them that extra 550 that you're going to give this person that already is <laughs> I reckon it comes down to uh, making sure there's no fucking crime rate spike. In all yes, but, but that's but that's what I'm saying. But if you're giving, if you're handing out everybody the same amount, mm -hmm. how can there be a crime rate? You get what I'm trying to trying to say? Yeah. You know, so if a person was on a dollar earning five fifty, yeah, and now the government's up that five fifty to help that person, I, I think it's to calm people. Yeah, but but what about the people who just shitload and lost their jobs? Well, yeah, they're fucked, but like the the government will help them. But it's just not as instantaneous. But I I think the people who had nothing. Mm. Well, I don't know. I'm not saying if you're on the dole, you're a criminal. I'm not saying that at all. But like, shit's gonna get desperate, like even more so desperate soon. And now, but if you were to live within your means, if you got the dole, that's what I'm trying to say. If you got the dole, you're living within your means. Mm. Why do you? You know what I mean? Like, oh, it might be an incentive to spend so business yeah. sustain. Business. Well, well, I saw the like the they turned around and said, "Oh, we're going to give extra money to the old people, for example." Mm. Um, so up to this point, they couldn't pay for their bills. Yeah. Now yeah. you're giving them extra for their bills because up to this point they couldn't pay for that. Yeah, I don't get that. It's like, yeah, no, they could live up to this point. Why are you actually giving them extra to what? And it's not bagging anybody. No, 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 no. We're, we're not bagging anyone. I, I, I don't understand anything this government does. Yeah. In all honesty, like weird. you look at New Zealand, you look at um, Switzerland, all that sort of shit. They're paying people's wage. Yeah. But then our our leader in quotation is yeah. like, no, oh, just use your super. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like but it's yeah. But, I, you but you to kick into your super and get into your super and try to get try to get, make that all that happen, just talk to your bank. Oh, yeah. I can't do it. And that's the thing that's pissing me off the most is like if you set ground rules for mm. a leader, yeah, it's across the board. Yeah, but no one respects him though, so no one cares about his ground rules. That's where he No, no, but if he turns around and goes to the bank and says to the bank, everybody's gonna get X amount of dollars. Yeah. Or we're not people aren't paying rates or people aren't gonna pay for rent or whatever it the case may be. Yeah. We're all in that same boat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. if we're all in the same boat, then basically no one's gonna steal off anybody. Nobody's gonna. You're not gonna sit there and go, "Fuck! I've got to come up with 500 bucks for my rent." So yeah. that there's not gonna be any looting. There's not gonna be any. You know, if if we can all live on 500 bucks hypothetically, we're living off 500 bucks. Yeah. You know, but if we if one's living off you know, a thousand and the other one's got a 500. Yeah. And that one that's got 500 has got to pay 1500. He's yeah. gonna look for the extra 500 somewhere. Yeah. Or, or the yeah. thousand somewhere. Yeah. And then he's going to end up fucking looting because he's got to feed his family, survive, yeah. thrive, whatever, you know. I don't know what you'd loot. Like, like if you went to cash, he's like, no one will be giving people money for anything because they, they don't know if they'll have a business next week. Like, well, look, money, money's useless at this point in time, I think. Well, yeah, unless you can buy it. Money's useless. As long as we've got food, people can still get food. 
And I mean, I know somebody said it a while back when it first started, and they said we should have like coupons and shit like that. Mm. That's what the government should do: is to turn around and say, okay, everybody gets a fifty dollar coupon a, a month or a week. Yeah. So you got fifty bucks to shop for that week. Yeah. So there can be no, uh, you know, prices that go up or any shit like that. The price is still the same. Speaking of prices going up, I've, I've got petrol on the way here. How much? Dollar uh, forty. Jeez. For just unleaded. Yeah, it's bullshit. Like two days ago, like when I was here. BP. Or uh, it's gotta be one of the. I think it was United, but no, United. like the okay. the whole week. Yeah. I, I think I said it like last week when we did a podcast. Like I knew something bad was gonna happen because petrol was so fucking cheap. Like I bought petrol two or three times at like a dollar ten, okay. and now it's just. I mean. Dollar thirty is still reasonably cheap compared to what it's been in the last six months, but it's just skyrocketed out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I don't know. It's just it's just really fucked. Like looking at it all and just trying to decipher it all and like you know what's the next ha- what's the next thing that's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you know, like even turn around and goes, "Oh, everybody have a great weekend this weekend." You know what I mean? So, yeah, mate. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. You know, a little champ. You know what I mean? Go to your mansion today. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I mean, when it, I always say when it doesn't affect anybody in that in that level, yeah, they're like, don't, don't, don't give a shit. So, when it affects them, it's like, oh, what are we fine? What can we find? What, what can we do? Yeah. Like, how can we make this work? How can we do this? And it's just like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I just reckon that we should be, we should be, everybody should be compassionate at this point in time. You help your neighbor, help your friend. Yeah. You know, as much as you can. Just do it. Just do it as much as you can. I mean, you know, that's the number one thing we've all got to look at and sort of go, let's help each other out. You know? So, I think anyway. Shit's just going to get rougher though. I think. Oh, yeah. Going for sure. But it's good because it's going to teach everybody a bit of a lesson. Hopefully. You know, um, if, you know, if you look at it, it's going it's to teach us that, you know, be more compassionate towards people. Um, nobody's above it. No, and there's nothing, like, I've had some people go, oh, no, I don't need to go on the dole, I've got savings, blah, 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 but yeah, yeah okay, but how long is that going to last? Like, there's no shame in going on the dole if you've no. lost your job. So, like, you need to get that idea out of your head. And I'm, I'm personally worried about um, people's mental health, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I had to get my prescription refilled the other day. Like, there's nothing wrong with, like, physically, there's nothing wrong with me. Like, I'm, I don't feel sick, I don't feel like I had that little thing where I drove past some prick mowing his lawn and hay food, bam, straight away. But like, <laughs> well, I know it lasted a day, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Like, I, I was scared to go to the doctor to get a prescription filled. And I, I tried going to a chemist and being like, look, I've had this, I just need a refill, blah, blah, blah. Well, we can't do it without a prescription, blah, blah, blah. So I had to put myself at risk going to a doctor and there's some lady coughing behind the fucking counter. Like, well, well away from me. Like six k's away from you. (laughs) Tell me this. (laughs) If someone coughs six k's away and you're not there to see it, you can still get corona. Yeah. Never know. But um, no. Uh, yeah. So like, uh, for something like, if you if you if you are feeling sick, you should definitely go to the doctor. Yeah. But or hospital wherever you need to go. But for someone like me who is is having like mental health issue and I need my prescription done yeah. why do I need like it doesn't seem right that not fair or anything I'm not saying I'm hard done by it all but it just didn't make sense that I had to physically be there to get this done like I've been on this prescription for nearly two years now like why can't I just call the doctor and I've tried I asked you know can I speak to the doctor instead over the phone yeah. and be like you know I need this done can you I don't know if fax machines but you know yeah, like, yeah. can you fax something to this uh, chemist or something just so I can get my shit done I'm happy to pay whatever it is over the phone but that to me didn't quite make sense I think that needs to be looked at but speaking of mental health like people are going to go through some tough shit like yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. if you need help just put your fucking hand up can't you get like, your prescription like, like filled in like say five five times like five or six prescriptions of it or no you can only buy one at a time no, one at a time which again doesn't make sense like Antidepressants only benefits the person who's on it. It's like a, yeah. not a party drug. Okay. It was something speed-based, I'd understand, but um, 
No, it's just it only benefits the user. No good. You don't get a high off or anything. It's quite the opposite. But we're going to hurt you if you take it all. I was waiting for it. Well, yeah, like when you first get on it, it gives you a bit of a head spin. Yeah, yeah. Like, but not not the good way. It's like you feel like you're drunk, but not in a oh wow, I can party now. It's just like drains you and shit. Yeah, it's strange. Like when you like. Like, I, I had a few days where I, I, I'd have, like, one tablet every two days, which isn't great. It's essentially yo-yoing it. But, like, you can feel something drain out of you. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, it sounds spiritual in any way. It's not spiritual. It's fucking stupid. But, no, it's just, like, you can feel like you're missing something. It's like when you don't eat for the day or something. Yeah, yeah. Accidentally or whatever. And you feel like, oh, yeah, fuck my energy level. I'm fucking low. But mm-hmm. it just didn't make sense that I had to physically go in there during this shit to... Yeah, and again, not saying I'm half done by, but there is going to be someone else in that. Uh, have you been with your doctor the bracket? Or? No, I just do bulk I don't know if I that. <laughs> no, 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 you don't usually see the same guy, or you try to. Oh, no, I've been to the same place for the last like two and a bit years. Yeah, but, but it's usually the same guy? No. It's just whoever's available. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, but it's the same establishment, and all, all your records are online anyway. Like, you can yeah. go to any doctor and say, okay, you've had this and that, and blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. But, yeah, I. I, but it's that whole thing you got to look at is also you got to build that relationship, even if it's a bulk billing place. Yeah. Like I've got two guys that I go to here in, in, in my area. You know, and yeah. I only go to those two. Yeah. So if one's not available, which he's always not available, yeah, I'll go to the other guy to get my prescription. Yeah. So he knows my case, he knows my history, he knows what I need. Yeah. So he gives it to me, and then I go to the other guy for my like annual maybe six month checkup. Yeah. Daddy wanted I lost my watch, Benny. Uh, <laughs> Benny wedding ring, so I'm trying. Jeez. Fuck. Yeah. Now, 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 clean now, now, now I know when they call the ring of fire. <laughs> as, long, as, as long as he's wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like straight up and it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear this... <sighs> like, like a hot dog down a fucking hallway. Yeah. Oh, God. I told you that story. I, I did a whole spiel on my... I think so, yeah. Driving in the way, it was like, yeah. oh, fuck that guy, the wind's done, it's going to fucking roll. <laughs> and it's like, you know, talking to me, said, yeah, this is going to be fucking awesome, you know. Yeah. Smoke some weed, fucking eat brownies, the whole lot. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'll do that one. <laughs> and it was all because I just fucking held, uh, I think I had a toilet. Oh. I got knocked out in one of those little fucking clean toilets. Oh, yeah. I'll be fucking in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the side of me, I'm told the yeah. girls to get stuck in there. I'm gonna get sucked down the hole. Oh, it's not the hole, it's just I can't spin myself around, can't get a hand around, wipe the ass. And just <laughs> but, uh, fuck, Build these things a little bit bigger, you can't. You need a travel buddy. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, yeah, so I held it off, and then as I was coming out, it was just like I just broke it. You know, when you just break out in sweat. It's like you've, you've, you've had that, you've broken out in sweat. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, and, and, and they're looking at me, I've got a backpack on my back. Yeah. I'm like, Run. <laughs> we're running through this airport in Amsterdam, and every second fucking what's it like corner, there's a fucking cop with a machine gun just sitting there looking at me, going, "Why? You should be they're trying to run out of Amsterdam, but this guy's running wow. into Amsterdam." And I get into the toilet, just like holy shit! It's like, oh, oh, that's oh, attractive. God, walk down. It was just yeah, it was a bit lucky to be there. Oh fuck! Yeah, it was full on. I burst the insides. Oh. That's a good start for the holiday. Oh, it was fucked, bro. Fucking hell. And then got back, got to the hotel room, and turned around and said, well, I've got to get the doctor now. You've got to find a fucking... Yeah. A GP that speaks your lingo, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, and pretty cool, but yeah. it's still, you know, it's all around. Then we yeah. find somebody, went down to see him. Um, he made it, like, I, I do a joke about it, but he made a whole spectacle thing, you know, instead of being quiet about oh. you your asshole part. <laughs> You got asshole problems? Come with me, sir. And then, um, blood and then, strength up. Yeah, yeah. And then get on, get on, got, got into the room, and I'm just like, oh, I just have a quick go, probably just press it down. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. So you exactly where to press. And then, um, he's looked at me, and he goes, I'll just get on your side. And I'm just like, oh, and I think back, and I think about it. 
And I do this whole routine, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's actually a true fucking story that happened to me, you know what I mean? And oh. I look back at him and just like, oh, I've been fucked the fuck out of this car now. And, or, or, and he's just like, just relax yourself. And I'm like, well, why am I fucking relaxing myself? I wanted to relax when you see. <laughs> You're literally like, Show them, definitely yeah, not. it's yeah. like, what do I do, man? It's like, you know. Um, so, yeah, it sort of turned around. So, so fuck that part of the holiday up. Yeah. And because he did what he did. That's fucking anyone's day off. You know, um, I'm walking around for two days, like, I'm, you know, driving away. And go, whoa, program, you know. <laughs> <laughs> walking past the red light district with the missus, and the missus is just pissing herself laughing. So I'm like, ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> you, you look like you came out getting pegged. Like, fucking like John Wayne going, all right. Yeah, so that was fucked. That was, that was brutal. That was, uh, so that, I, 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 I learned my lesson there. Yeah. Fuck. You know, so, Amsterdam. Gotta get back there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta experience the whole thing. Shit, out to Amsterdam. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if anyone's having a, uh, a rough time at the moment, you may have lost a job, you don't know if you're gonna have your job. Mm. Shit's gonna get rough, I think. Um, just reach out, all the lines are still open. Um, yeah. Lifeline, all that sort of stuff. And just talk to someone, like, if you know, yeah, yeah I, People are in... Everybody's in the same fucking boat. Yeah, just be there for one another. You know, we're all in the same boat. We all... You know, don't think that, um, you know, you can't talk to anybody. You're, you're worse off than everybody else. We're all in the fucking we're same fucked, boat. Yeah. There's not one of us that are, you know, sitting pretty. You know, so everybody's fucked in the same way. So we all just got to help each other out as much as we can. Yeah. Look after each other. Take care of each other. This will pass. Yeah, definitely. You got any more theories on the virus? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know, man. I'll fucking, I don't know what to believe anymore. You know, I've, I've given you that spiel about the influenza. You know, yeah. Um, so I haven't looked at that part of it. Um, I don't know. It's economic, it's government, it's suppression, it's everything. I don't know. It's a bit of everything. So what's what's up next? I've got no idea. I'm like, uh, Depressing, bro. It is. It's fucking depressing. Like I'm, I was literally sitting there the other night, and I said, "Then I'm going, are you on that shit?" No, actually, wasn't. Well, last night, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So it was actually quite funny. It was last night. Shout out again to Tony Magnuson. <laughs> and um, <laughs> no, but Tony rang me up last night, and um, and he goes, "Oh, you know, you're right." And yeah, he called me. Yeah, you, yeah, you're right. And um, and he goes, "Oh, you mean like we've been watching TV?" I go, yeah, a bit, but last night I wasn't. I was actually on my phone most of the night, and I even didn't go on Facebook. I was just fucking around on a game. Yeah. Just to get my mind off shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because sometimes you just don't even need, the, you know, the, the mention of it or no. the talk about it. And, and this is what I'm worried about. Like, once we get back into comedy, yeah. please, I mean, I hope they don't start doing the whole, oh, I didn't have enough dunny paper. And, no. oh, you know, it's just like, no, let's just move on. It'll be a drinking game. You know, let's just move on and, 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 and talk about, you know, our own experiences. It's like, you know, we've all gone through the same fucking thing. Yeah. So it's like, just, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I hope they don't, but I reckon they will. I honestly think whoever, it'll be a real test, and this isn't that comedy's a competition or anything, but it'll be, uh, I think it'll be a turning point of like, okay, we've all gone through the same, because normally comedy's like, okay, you've gone through this, I've gone through this, or that. Yeah. Here's my experience, here's your, your experience, and that's our material. I think whoever comes out with a brand new set yep. of anything to do Other. but yeah. coronavirus is going to fucking kill. I know I said that yesterday, but I, I wholeheartedly feel that. But I'm, I'm in a fucking mental blank. Like, I haven't written anything. I've had two weeks off. I've had way too much time on my hands. But it's good. It's resetting your batteries, bro. You needed that. No, I'm being honest with you now. You needed that. You were fucking burning the candle at both ends. True. Okay, sorry, but you were you, you were fucking going hard. Yeah. And, I mean, we all know you, and we all respect you, you know? Oh, uh, should, you shouldn't. No, you don't. 
<laughs> That's a nice little sort of pity thing. Much. <laughs> oh, so you're off the you're off the mark early. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, you're burning it on both ends. Now you're just sort of chilling. You're getting back to I don't know, finding yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think from that you'll get your comedy coming again. Yeah, I hope so. You know, you'll see it. You'll you know, and no, no, now what? Remember coronavirus? No, I fucking won't. And if I do, I'll take another six months off. Like I have no interest in talking about coronavirus in a, in a stage set, a stage setting, I should say. But no, I've just like I've never had this much free time. Like I've had a, a like mm. I had annual book for mid-April, and that was yeah. to take a week off, the, the last week off of that the, of the showcase yeah, yeah. to treat myself because the majority of my gigs were in that time. I wanted to relax and blah blah blah. And I had a friend coming down from. Um, Brisbane, she was going to stay with me while she did her shows. I was like, fuck it, I'll take you out. We'll, we'll see the sights, all that sort of stuff. But um, obviously, that all fell through. But um, yeah, my annual got pushed forward because there was nothing to do at work. And it's been great. Like, I go to bed when I feel like it. And like, I don't know about you, but after a gig, I need to un- unwind. So, yeah, you know, like an hour on the Xbox or something, and watch a movie or whatever yeah. show I'm watching before I can go to bed. But like, so I don't go to bed till like one or two o'clock and then I'm up for work at, you know, seven thirty. Yeah. Um but it's been great going to bed when I feel like it waking up. I haven't had an alarm. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. fucking awesome. Like the cats wake me up at eight anyway, but like it's just I have to be fed on time, otherwise cats die apparently. But like go wake up whenever the fuck I feel like it. I've had unlimited amount of naps. Get a like, dog, peanut butter on your bowl, fall <laughs> Or you're going to be like, oh, man, it's like, like, oh, this is a great dream. It's like that, it's like, like, like that bit in the early G show. Yeah. Early G show. Oh, Tupac, no. <laughs> but um, I'm going to watch that tonight. I fucking love that movie. That movie never gets old. No, fuck, fuck no. Um, but uh, this is the closest, uh, unfortunately there's been no money coming in in terms of shows, but like, it's the closest thing I've had to actually having an entertainer's lifestyle. Yeah. Like, I've been here numerous amount of times in the last oh, week, so... Drinking's getting bored coming out. No, fuck no. No, it's, no it's, it's, I like driving. It's a good drive. Yeah, Get out of the house. Yeah. yeah. I see that Pat Hager. He likes to drive. So. Yeah, and we've had some fucking good comics come through for interviews. So when they come out, but yeah. Um, and, and, and hopefully we get some more. Oh, you know, fuck yeah. I hope like so. Tony Magnuson. <laughs> it's good enigma music now that you mentioned it. Yeah. But um, it's just like, um, like you know, uh, Chris Waynehouse has a bit where he says, um, you know, being a comic, I've got a lot, a lot of free time. And he talks about going to a fate with his kids. And it's like, you know, I only work 20, 20 minutes a day. Yeah. And that, that kind of stuck in my head. I was like, I've done like, the longest I've been here has been like four hours doing doing a few podcasts. That's all I've had on. It's been fucking great. Yeah, we've been, it's been good. We've had a bit of fun. And, but like, we, like you said, we have some great people on. We've had fun. We've taken the piss. We've enjoyed yeah. ourselves. In fact, this is going to push me harder to make more money from comedy than I have already, which hasn't been much, but it's been like, oh, okay, cool, I'm getting paid, I'm obviously doing something cool, I can do this. But just having no commitment other than, okay, this little block of hours, that's where you need to be and do that, it's been fucking awesome. Like, I don't travel unless it's for a gig, but like, so I didn't have any holiday plans anywhere, so like my plans weren't affected by getting... Um, two weeks push forward or anything, but like I can get used to this. <laughs> it's well, fucking awesome. This is the way it's going, man. I mean, podcasts are the thing to do. I mean, we're we're always following America. We know this. True. So, and that's why I say it's just like let's, let's just put out as much content and let's have as much fun and let's just do our shit. I mean, not take the piss out of anybody. You know, there's no need for that. No, fuck no, no. Oh, take away. No, it's just, um, no, it's just cool. Like, it's, I've never experienced this freedom before. It's like, you, you know, I haven't, yeah. had, I haven't had a holiday in like seven years, I think. Yeah. Or like proper time off. Like, yeah, like, you know. But that's why I said you're burning on both ends. Yeah. I mean, look, you're young again, you understand. You're not shit the whole life. No, I don't. <laughs> you're, you're 30. I'm not that old fucker. Dude, I nap at lunch. I don't eat lunch anymore. I don't I usually have a nap at oh, lunch. No, it's I fucking brilliant. I used to nap at too, but I'm right. I'm just saying, like, that's your catch up. That's because you're you're not sleeping on. No, I'm not. 
Yeah, you know, I'll never sleep right. So that's your that's your catch up for when you're not sleeping right. You know what I mean? The the last six months I've been fucking hectic. Yeah. Like, but again, that comes down to me. I'm not blaming anyone or anything. No, no, no. no. What, like, what I'm saying is actually it, it's actually good for you. It's actually slowing you down a little bit. Just to, uh, it's opening your eyes up a little bit. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. You know, yeah. slow down. Fucking play with your pussies. Oh, sorry, cats. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll face I'll FaceTime you next time. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's been good. Like I, I said to myself halfway through last year, like the next, you know, twelve months to two years are going to be mine to make something of myself. Yeah. And so I haven't said no to any opportunities, whether it's a paid gig, an open mic, or you know, why not an open mic to sign up for? But like you know, any gig, big or small, yeah. like I'm going to take it because any gig is a good gig. Like working at your yeah, look, I love your, I've always loved your work ethic. I love the way you operate. I've always loved that. I mean, you're very, very transparent in what you do. Yeah. You know, you're not a person that hides shit. Um, and well, like, if you hide shit, you burn people. Like, yeah. if, you, if you were to hide something and the truth comes out, like, look at Comedy Festival. Yeah. They didn't want to, they didn't want to pay out their rego fees and stuff. Yeah. And then they got caught out. Yeah, they, they straight away jumped ship, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, 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 we had every intention, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We've, worked, we've worked out a way to pay you back, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Well, that's how you fuck, yeah, fuck that, yourself. But that was the whole, uh, everybody stood up. Well, yeah. The social media blew out. So social, yeah. the whole social media, you know, like all the hubs and that, everybody just gone, mate, wait a minute, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. Why aren't we getting our money back? What the fuck's happening here? And so they, then they've just gone, oh, fuck, this is going to look really bad on us. I can't wait to see the next comedy festival to see what happens people I'm, will uh, still sign up yeah but I reckon a lot of people won't a lot of people that have done it in the past as in people that have what professional semi-professional whatever you want to call yeah. it they'll be very fucking cautious yeah they'll be like yeah wait a minute I lost you know don't look at the registration look at all the other shit as well you know oh, room high fees room high fees yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean just putting a deposit down yeah I mean look a lot of them might have got it back which they probably did hope so and if they didn't it's hard now to get it back because of this shit you know yeah. what I mean so it becomes really difficult to go oh shit um, I was doing it at say a, at a pub or whatever yeah oh can I get that money back and you know that pub's just fucking barely yeah struggling yeah, yeah. and if he's had like five or six acts in there that's, that's some money that's some money yeah, yeah. so and that's the hard bit about it all it's like it's gonna it's oh, yeah I don't know I mean, we'll, we'll probably need to get involved in one of those shows, but... No, I don't give a fuck. I don't... Nah, but That's it's... why I did my own thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but this is what I mean. It's like, uh, we can do our own thing. You know, it's like, we'll, we have to do our own thing. We've got to try to do our own thing. We've got to work together as a team. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then if we don't, I mean, shit, well then, I don't know. Everybody's got their own... It's that, it comes back to that whole thing, fuck everybody else. I'm, I'm not saying fuck anybody else, but I'm just <coughs> saying like you need to think outside the box. Like I couldn't get, um, I couldn't get residency for uh, comic, com- comedy festival at yeah. Glory. I oh, no, no, I don't so, mean like I don't mean like for you, like fuck everybody else. No, 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 I don't mean in that sense. I mean when these people get too big for their fucking boots. Oh uh, yeah. Give something back, you fucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like give something back. It's like. Yeah. Um, and, and, and you see it, the people that have got time to talk to comics, or actual proper comic, professional comic, yeah. that's got time, everybody has respect for that person. Yeah. And you hear it within the, within the groups, oh, fuck, he's a fucking legend. Yeah. He helped me out, he did this, he, you know what I mean? You don't even have to help him out, you can do whatever, you know, I know, I know certain, certain people out there that, that will actually spend time and have a chat to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, they're not mainstream, they might have done a few mainstream things, but you know, whereas the other one's like, no, I'm too big for this. Yeah. Go you're not, you're not too big for anything. Nah, man. This is this is where it shows everybody now. Go do your fucking show. Go, go do your fucking arena. Yeah. Can you feel your arena now? <laughs> no? Yeah. No, I, like, I mean, no, an arena show would be amazing, but still. No, but I mean, can, just, can you feel your, 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 your you know, your bloody a- amphitheater or whatever the fuck it is? Or, yeah. You know, you can't feel it. None of us can. No. You know, even, even a fucking 10-seater. You can't feel it. Yeah. So that basically tells you, mate, open your fucking eyes. We're all here. we're all in it together. We're all working together. Yeah. I don't know. Just it's really freaky. 
Well, if anyone's interested, the um. <laughs> well, it's Tony here. No. Uh, <laughs> If anyone's interested, the, the, the Death of Glory showcase is going to go ahead as soon as the coast is clear. I reckon once shit gets back to normal, yeah. I think a good time would be a month after that. Yeah. So people are settled back in, they're not yeah, worried yeah. about going out anymore. Not going to go hard. No. It's just nice and easy, smooth it in there. I mean, it, the layout might be slightly different. Like, instead of people doing four weeks, it might be, I don't know, each act does five, five shows or something like that, because we don't yeah. know what the market will be like. But... <laughs> but I don't want to do online or anything like that because I, yeah. I, I, I really think you need like uh, we could but I it's, re- too, I, it's too hard I, I re- you need an audience for comedy yeah, I think yeah. right. I mean, you've got to have them in there it's, a, it's like and then after that it's going to be whoever comes comes and and, yeah. and and once everything gets back to sort of normality it's like it's going to take a while we all know this but once it starts to come back people are just going to go oh well okay more people are out when people start seeing people out you know, out and about it starts to, more people start going out there. And so, oh, I think there's going to be a, a hole that needs filling of entertainment. Oh, fuck you. Um, people are going to flock to yeah. whatever's available, I think, after a certain period of time. But, um, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, it's going to, it's, like I say, it's going it's to be an opener. It's going to show a lot of people what the fuck's going on and how everybody is sort of, where everybody's at and all the rest of it. So, yeah. See what happens, but hopefully we can bust out some more episodes before. Yeah, hopefully before you. Some like other sort of. But it, like, like, like I said, even if we, even if you know, because you're not going anywhere in the sense no. of you're not floating around or anything. No. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going anywhere, sort of thing. No. And it's basically if we have to call, like bring yeah. people up and do a, do a thing, we can do it. It's not an issue. So you know, if Tony doesn't come down here, we can go up, send him a voice message thing, and just go, Tony. Hook up, mate, and let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe a guest we haven't even had on yet has their own theme noise. There, there, that's, that's Tony's theme now, every time Tony talks. <laughs> so once he goes too long, I'll be like, Tony, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I actually said this to him. I go, I want him to be an open book. Yeah, uh, that's what just, we want when people uh, come on. I just want to have fun. And it's like, and, and this is the thing, he knows I'm taking the piss out of him. You know, yeah. No joke. But yeah, and it's just we're all about fun here. It's all about being honest, talking about what you what you're about, yeah. where you come from, what you've done, and we've had some awesome fucking people. Yeah, so fuck yeah, we have. You know, so hopefully, you know, we're just building this little, little machine up, and then you know, get everybody on there. And yes, Tone, it won't be twenty twenty five before we get you on here. He actually said that to me last week. He had all the balls to say that. Fuck that for you, Tony Danielson. <laughs> Mr. Enigma. <laughs> Mr. Enigma worldwide. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. But no, it'll be, no, it'll be fun. It'll uh-huh. be good. It's all, it's all awesome. But to everyone who's... Uh, I don't know, a subscription. But everyone, everyone who's come across the page and liked it. And Thank you. We've had much. some people sharing certain awesome. podcasts and shit. We really you. appreciate it. All the likes and shares. So it spreads it further. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get as much as we can out there. Trying to get the socials up. Trying to... Try, oh, like I'm fucking new with all that shit anyway. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so thank you to people that are helping out with that. Yeah. Um, you know, showing us the sort of what we have to do and how we do it. Um, yeah, no, I greatly appreciate it. But, um, but the idea is it's going to help everyone in the long run. So, oh, like, you know, if someone, someone comes out with a show X amount of months time from now and it's yeah. like, you know, we can share it off the socials and then people can look back and say, like, oh, that was that guy. Yeah, fuck yeah, I want to yeah. see them because yeah. I know a bit about him now. Like, that's the... That was so our whole intention. That's the idea. That was yeah. the idea. It was like, you know, you're basically promoting yourself. Yeah, building yeah. profiles. The, the in between of a bit of banter and taking the piss yeah. and having a bit of fun. That's just us as comics having fun. Yeah. But the rest of it's about the person. So, yeah. And I'm not trying to sell it. I'm, like I say, if you want to be on it, you're more than welcome to. It is what it is. It's an open thing. Everybody's welcome to it. If you don't want to be on it, hey, that's cool too, bro. Yeah. You know. But a quick way to get on is bring a jar of peanut butter for Benny. Yeah. Um, that's... That's for you, Tony. Uh, <laughs> that's probably the quickest way to get on. But no, if, if you're interested, just hit, hit, hit Geordie up. And please, if you have any suggestions or comments or something, like, feel free to message us. Yeah, I know. Somebody, I know, throw a few punches back. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I'm not that violent. But yeah. It's, yeah. No, no, no. Fuck. Stop it, bro. Then he can't shoot you through a microphone, thank fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, I would not shoot anybody fucking straight away with the shooting thing. 
but if the pop group started, mate, fuck, I'd be ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be ready if the pop group started. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might need to loan a gun off you. Yeah, no, no, so I don't Not yet. No, I don't do guns. It's like, Mr. Wick, would you like a knife? Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to get that bad. People aren't going to go free. People aren't going to freak out. Know. Well, I'm hoping they are. I mean, just keep calm. We're all in the same boat. That's all everybody's got to remember. Be nice, be kind. Be kind to everybody. You know, go over to your neighbour, see how they're doing if they're old. But everyone needs a laugh. So, yeah. you know, yeah. get through it. I'll keep going so, with the cooking if I've got something to cook. Yeah, well, I reckon I'll, I'm going to put this out. Look, these ones are all going to go out today. Oh, we can, right. yeah. So I'll, I'll send them all out. Um, but yeah, I reckon we've got a challenge. We've got to, we, you've got to do a Facebook thing tonight, mm-hmm. all right, and get, get as many people as we can on it. Yeah. And then it'll be like a fucking challenge. All right. Cook whatever's in your... Cook whatever's in your pantry. Yeah. Right. Actually, no, no, make it even harder. Oh, no. No, it's not that hard. Uh, all right, chef. Yeah, all right, five items. So okay. So five, five items, including your ingredient. Is the ingredient part of that five? What the fuck are you talking about? What? Even your spices, sorry, like spices as well. Really? Yeah. You can do it. So it's going to be one really tasty steak with no veggies in it. No, no, you can't do shit like that. I mean, you can do a steak with just nothing else but salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. But I'm saying, like, it's still going to be something challenging. Don't forget, you've got to think outside the box. Yeah. So two minute noodles. What have you got within two minute noodles? Ah, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you've got your two minute yep. noodles, yep, yep, yep. you turn it into a pasta, you can turn it you can use that you can use that spice and that, that's your ingredient. So that's your hot the, the two minute noodle is your whole ingredient with the spice. Oh right, well here, here's a tip. Uh, a restaurant I used to work for, uh, they used to do a curry pasta. Yeah. It was like a creamy um, Yeah, it was a, it wasn't like one of those coloured pasta uh, coloured curries or like, you know, red red curry, green curry or something. It was just like I think it was just curry powder to be honest, but like it was yeah. fucking delicious. It was like chicken, cashew nuts, yeah. um, rigatoni, and just this beautiful sauce. And it had like bocconcini in it and stuff. Didn't look like it should work, but fuck me, it worked. Like, yeah. so there, there's a little idea. You know, like, fusion, yeah. just fusion some shit together. Fuse some, fuse, f- fuse fusion. it together. A bit of this, a bit of Chinese, a bit of Turkish. Yeah, whatever. Just, yeah. just make it happen. A, a, apocalypse cooking. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Skillet. Get it out there. Put it out there. And I reckon that, that we should have a challenge. Then. Um. I reckon, you know, actually, we should ask some of the comics to sort of give us a, like a one of those. You know, everybody puts up a card and goes, "All right, ten points." Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Done. Right, so yeah. it's like everybody like we pick out a few comics. But no one's allowed to say decadent. No, no decadent. And no one's allowed to stab me. In <laughs> Fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll get, we'll get a scoring system going. Yeah, we'll get a scoring system going, so... Or a yes or no, would you eat that? Yeah, or a yeah, yeah, or would yeah. you eat that? Yes just or a no. real simple yes or no, yeah. would you eat it? And they like, you know, show me your dick or anything, no, just no. yes or no. That's no, that, that's for the paid section, yeah, yeah, yeah. done. Yeah, and done deal. I reckon yeah. that you only get dick if you tip. Yeah, yeah. done. <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, we'll right, be, let's we'll, put that out tonight. Yeah, we'll put it out tonight, and then we'll see what, what we get out of it. I reckon. We'll it. Yes or no cooking? That's what we'll call it. Yeah, yes or no cooking. Yes or no cooking. Yeah. So would you eat it? Won't you eat so it? So when it's done, and the more exotic you get, yeah. So you got this is the thing about it. It can't be just standard fucking veg and stuff. No, 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 no. You've got to push the boundary. Yeah, it's, it's got to be, be some flair. It's, it's got to be finesse. some fucking finesse in this. Finesse, yeah. You All can right. do it. Yes no. or no cooking. All right. Actually, you know what I'll do? No, what we'll do? Five ingredients, not including your spices. Okay. Yeah, you have to have spices. Yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you guys yeah, use you the spices. Spice. So, five ingredients, not in... And, and this is a call out to all the chefs out there. There's a shitload of you motherfuckers out there. Yeah. Come on, boys. If Jared Gowdery doesn't get on this, Jared, I'm going to be disappointed. What's his name? Fucking uh, John Dahl. Oh, know, fuck, yeah. yeah John, John another chef. There's a few There's a few guys out there that yeah. are, have been, been in the game, so, you know. Hugh's been in the kitchen. Yeah, so no yeah. shit. All right, yeah. done. Yes or no cooking? Yeah, I want you guys to sort of step up and fucking All right, show done. us what it's about and let's fucking, yeah, let's make a little show out of this shit. Done. Fuck yeah, that'd be yeah, entertaining as shit. I don't give a fuck. Just, whoever yeah. it is, just do it. Yeah. yeah. 
So it's basically put it out, and, and we'll sort of we'll go through the process of you know everybody that might be we'll do one a day. Yep. So you know whoever's whoever's we'll, we'll get everybody out there. We'll sort of do a collective. Yep. Get everybody on the old social, and then we'll sort of pan out the day everybody gets their day. Done. So yep. so we'll basically do it like we're running a room. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Done. Right. That'd be yeah. awesome. We'll yeah. see what happens. Has to be live stream, no editing. Yeah. So there's no yeah there's no fucking Whatever, man. It's like you know, your dog can come in the fucking shop. Yeah, no, no Photoshop there. You, you know, can't peanut butter on your balls and your dog's looking it off. Whatever the case <laughs> may be. Just Five keep different going. types of peanut butter. Yeah. Just keep going, you know. Done. Fuck yeah, let's do it. All right. So, but yeah. So I don't know. Um, we'll call it. We'll call it on that. Yep. Thank you very much for listening, everyone. Thank you for listening, and hopefully, tone. Yeah, to listen to mate, and uh, another shout out to you, brother. It better. This was his episode without him fucking <laughs> this is, being This here. is your episode without you actually being here, bro. <laughs> no. He'll be here. All right. It's like a prequel. This yeah. is from uh, Balls Out. Check us out on the socials. We're on uh, Instagram, Balls Out Comedy. Um, and on Facebook also, Balls Out Comedy. Yeah, and uh, if, if you, if you're trying, you're probably already listening to it if you're on SoundCloud. But yeah, yeah we're on SoundCloud. We're on maybe. SoundCloud. You basically just click on the, the little icon on Facebook and you go straight in there and have a listen. Um, and yeah, hit us up if you've got any questions and uh, shout out to everybody. Thank you very much for being a part of it and being with us on this little journey that me and Jordan are taking. Yep. And um, thank you very much. Let's hold hands. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Where's the campfire? Quick. Jeez. Guitar. I should get, I should get my car, car keys. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.